Yep, I just, these two. Here, why don't you sign these two? Those are for your book, because there were so many corrections. Thank you. Appreciate that I just couldn't see, you know, everybody having their scribbled My corrections notes. on it. Yeah, and then I'd be like, what was that? Well, and I simplified this. I just, and just said, see the attached agenda for the complete list of blah, blah, blah. Because it works. I started to list them, and I went, this is ridiculous. I'm just going to attach it. Well, and if anybody is really that interested, well, then they can look. Yep. Mm -hmm. So did you get all your family stuff done? Does family stuff ever really mm -hmm. That's the question. Mm -hmm. so. Well, hopefully everybody's well. Everybody's well. Well-ish. 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 Yeah. Well -ish. yeah. Well -ish. yeah. Uh, every time I sit, I, I'm like, mm, don't chance it. Yeah. I wonder if people forgot to wait at 830. I'm wondering. I'm hoping. Karen contacted me and she had an issue come up, so she's not going to be here. Okay. We got that. I talked to Ann while we traded messages. Okay. And um, Karen was going to a PEO convention that I thought it was just over the weekend. So. Which Karen we talked about? Karen Reed. Okay. I'm talking to Karen Cruz. Mm -hmm. So, okay. I figured. She was like, David. which Karen? Yeah. You know how when you think you mention certain people, you just picture their face, mm -hmm. and then you're like, oh, okay, I don't even. Two very different personalities. Mm -hmm. Well, talk to Karen Charles. Oh, I did do. Monday, we were working on her. Sit here and wait. Talk for about 15 minutes. Oh, that's cool. Do you okay? Yep, she's doing well. She's spending her dad is out there wondering about yeah. the media. Mm -hmm. and she said she yeah. spent more than half of well, exactly. the last in Michigan. You know, this could be coffee. Let's <laughs> call it. She's doing yeah. well. I saw a picture of her on Facebook with her husband. It was really nice. She's got to do. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure she's got some time to. Yeah. Well, I squeezed in a trip to California in the last month, and that was. Fun, but I, I gotta tell you, Disneyland and Universal and all that. You look at four, five out of six days. I oh. came home so tired. I every chance I got for like ten days, I just went to bed. I mean, daytime, nighttime, it didn't matter. We did, we did like eight miles a day, and that doesn't count all the time we stood standing in line. And you went to California, so if you if you went to the Florida one, because there's so much more spread apart. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly, I did say you better have your walking shoes. <laughs> I, I would have rather been in Florida because in Florida you can take the same number of people and spread them over more space, and you don't feel like you're in the middle of mayhem all the time. And honestly. Don't ever go to the park after the 15th, between the 15th of May and the 1st of June. Because really? kids are getting out, they have their senior nights. That, that's, that's what we did two years yeah. ago. Yeah. We I, I would get never. Back in. We, all, we were like a minute from missing our Star Wars window because yeah. of that line. Yeah, well we paid, we paid for the Fast Pass or whatever it is, the yeah. Genie, I don't remember what it was, was yeah. which helped a little. It didn't help a ton, but it helped a little. But you still have to walk the line for Star Wars. Is even if you even if you're going straight to the front, it's it's like half a mile long. Yeah. You know, it's like you just walk and walk and walk and walk and walk. Yeah, that was the before you walk they and did the four redo. Yeah, but, but we did. It was it was lovely. My my grandkids had a great time. Um, it was you know my daughters and her family and my sister and her daughter and my husband and I. Nice. And it was, we had a house with a pool, which we didn't use much because we were never there. <laughs> I have to tell you though, Universal to me was, was like a premium experience. They have staff everywhere. You don't wait in line for hardly anything. If you want to ask somebody a question, you all you have to do is look up and you can find six people to ask a question. You know, they're, they're just, they're just a they're step above Disney. <laughs> And supposedly they were they were limiting the number of people into Disney, but if they were limiting people, you couldn't tell them the number of people <laughs> in the park. Yeah. It, it yeah. was insane. Wow. I, I just don't like the California park as well. I don't so either. I just don't think experience is as good. But 
Well, and it's all about the shared experience. It's been here. It's yeah. Been great. It's they did not want to spend a day getting there and a day getting back. This was literally, we're going to go and come. And the whole time we're gone, it's going to be a vacation. Yeah. So, hello. Hi, I went to the wrong building. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We were gonna we were gonna go play basketball with the yeah we yeah. <laughs> were having a basketball game game in there with the, uh, we saw a little pot of kids yeah, so we said are we supposed to be here to, no but Ben and Swellen are not here so they left that was you right is that valuable no that was you oh, it's just a whole bunch of that was you. <laughs> oh. I thought it was your equipment. Oh, no. I was going to make you all poke your own holes. Did you got him here. jerked up real quick. Oh, yeah, that was your <laughs> oh, It was only that little thing there. No. Don't move my Don't worry about it. I'll get it. Give me out of the chair. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ashley, I think you should get down there. Pick yeah, them all. Exactly. I'm not licking my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how you make confetti right there. Yeah, this is oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And I was there to do you. I've been there. Why? It was nice to see you too. How were your trips? Uh, I went to the other one. I just got home. Yeah. That's me. That's oh, me. Oh, that's me. 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 That's me.
you have anything new to I say? do. Give me 10 seconds. I'm trying to write down the motions. Oh, I'm sorry. So who who made the motion to accept the minutes? Was it Anne? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the second? Uh, Janet. Okay. I'm just trying to keep notes so that Karen and I put our heads together for the minutes that we're right. not great, that we're on the same we're page. On the same page. I'm sorry, I don't mean to move moving along so quickly this morning, but um, just can I just add something to the manager's report? Certainly. Um, we have between five and seven more events in the process of booking. Okay. So it's wow. it's been absolutely insane. Um, between inquiries, um, tours, and people wanting to book, um, I've got a, a July event. I've got a I got two July events. I've got an um, October event. I've got a wedding for next year, and then there's at least two more. So we're we're booking like crazy. It, things are coming in so fast. That's wonderful. Um, it's good that, news, bad that news. we're just getting. <laughs> well, yeah. mostly good news. You're right. Yeah. yeah. All of our walkthroughs for June are complete. Now I need to write them up and make the appropriate changes. But it's. Yeah, Jacqueline's on vacation for two weeks. Oh, it's yeah. been absolutely oh, yeah. nuts. So um, if there's anything you're trying to reach me for, just please have a, a little patience because between all of that and um, trying to do some doctor's appointments and stuff. Right. Real life. I, my, you have a light. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, uh, my response times are not normal. So I, I just want to make sure you understood that. And I have a question. Are we always just going to skip the house manager's report via the set by you? Um, I think bottom line is if we read it in advance, we're not wasting as much time as the meeting and we want to keep the minutes, the meetings down to 45 minutes as much as possible. And in the past, the house meeting meetings down to 45 minutes? Four, 45 minutes to an hour if we can. I like to keep them down to an hour. If we go a little longer, then, you know, sometimes up to two guys. Sometimes right. it, it, it's busier for them. Oh, but, but, but I, th- I think the bottom line is if, if we can keep it down, and if we read them in advance, it allows us. And in the past, her reports were not submitted in as documentation. And that's what we're doing is we're submitting them as documentation. I kind of miss her going through some stuff and also ad living some of the things yeah. about it. I, I, I still think that we, we are giving time that she can add any comments that she would like to, to, to at that point. And um, I. Again, if we have any questions, we have our given time to do so. Okay. Yeah, um, if I could just comment. I yeah. you know, don't have to go over all the financials maybe, but I do enjoy when you go over the new business or the new the bookings and things yeah. like just that. Kind of, it kind of makes it aware of what's going on more than just reading it here. All right. It adds color to it. Yeah. I can read the black and white, but when you tell us about yeah. it, is always Yeah, so I, I prefer <laughs> that. At least the first, you know, the first part here. Like well, the financials, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, so maybe just the manager should work a piece of it, not the financials. At least in brief. Yeah. Well, maybe a summarization. And, but it is important that we're all reading the financials too, guys, just to make sure that all Well, of course, we just don't want to go through them. Yeah, we just have one hearing. Cool. Yeah. That makes sense. I do have one point, though, okay, that sure. I forgot about. Um, they did finalize the 2021 financials. Mm-hmm. Um, the number that I predicted for the Callahan House Fund was pretty dead on. Uh, the new number as of December twenty first or December thirty first, twenty twenty one, is forty eight thousand two hundred seventy two dollars and sixty four cents. I see that. So I just wanted to highlight that because that's been an ongoing question. Yeah. Okay. Um. So at at this point, it seems that we kind of are ahead of ourselves that we approved them and now we're going back. Um. Well, we're going back to talk about them. Yeah. Um. So, so when you're talking about all the events and the venues that are coming up, so mostly what are we booking? Weddings or, or what other events are we coming in? Um, we've got a rehearsal dinner. We've got a wedding for 2023. We've got a birthday party. We've got a post-wedding reception, um, which I'm booking as a special event because they've been married quite a while. And, and, that, and that actually, the interesting thing about that, it was um, they came in 2019 and wanted to do their wedding. Ooh. And because of COVID, they didn't do their wedding, but now they're back in 2022 to do a, a little party. Oh, so that's, that's kind of fun. Great. So that one took us three Sweet. years to book. Well, <laughs> well, well we that's go. perseverance. <laughs> yep. and then and then nice that's wedding. exactly right. Particularly yeah. after being two years on an hiatus and not right. having all that kind of stuff. Those are those are yeah. And so um, and then we've got an inquiry for a memorial and there's a couple other things. So it's it's pretty nuts right now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. 
movement ahead onto the status of the grant. Um, we are in the process of finishing up the RFP. Uh, the next step is to get the um, requisition into the system, and we got it. We had it created, but um, I had some troubles with finding the money. <laughs> um, so I got I got to dial into finance and make sure I'm looking okay. in the right fund for the sixty thousand dollars that's already there. I see. And then the balance of the money, the hundred eighty thousand dollars from the um, state historical fund will be appropriated in June in council. Okay. And once that's appropriated, then we can adjust the REC to indicate the whole $240,000. Okay. <clears throat> so the RFP is almost ready. We're, we still have to cross the bridge into purchasing um, and have them add their finishing touches to it. And in the meantime, Carrie and I are working on getting the paint analysis um, set up and scheduled. <clears throat> and so that will be happening first. And as soon as we can get the paperwork done, and get the vendor booked. So, okay. can you kind of give us a, a little lay on the land? You've got it in your mind to have a, a calendar point of where you think that's going to be, where you're going to book that. Well, they want the paint analysis done before they issue the RFP. So, that's okay. what they have decided. So, it's going to depend <coughs> on, on when, two things, on when we can get the paint dude booked. And I'm assuming it's going to be Phil Barlow, but that's a little up in the air yet. Mm -hmm. um, there is one outstanding issue with that, and that is none of these people want to rent the lift to do the work. They want the city to rent the lift to do the work. And Carrie says that's not the way it works. Mm -hmm. So we need to circle back with them and say, you have to rent the lift included in your bid. Um, so we've got a little bit of work to do. So we're hopefully okay. in the next 10 days, we'll get that work pretty well lined out. So we can actually schedule the paint analysis. And then once we have the paint analysis back, then we'll issue the RFP, assuming that purchasing is ready. Mm -hmm. And that could be an issue. But Carrie's done, Carrie and I have done most, Carrie and Ozzy and I have done most of the work okay. to write the RFP. Now we just need to put the purchasing gobbledygook in it. Okay. Um, and we didn't want we didn't want to step on any toes, even though Carrie knows all that stuff. She wanted to leave that piece of it to purchasing. Yeah. So they didn't feel like we were trying to do their job. Um, and then they'll issue the RFP. And then I believe that the responses are going to be due in two to three weeks. Okay. And then we'll have an out evaluation period. And once the evaluation period's done, we can pick the vendors and go through the process of getting them under contract. Okay. So my guess is it's going to take us most of the summer to do the paint analysis, get the RFP issued, do the evaluation, issue the contracts, and then at that point we'll have um, pre-construction meetings with the vendor or vendors that have been selected, and we'll be able to set out a timeline for the work. Okay, great. So that, that's my assumption, and that has a little bit of worst case built into it, but not a lot. Um, my, my assumption is that most of the work is going to take place next year. That, unless we can get them scheduled for the fall. Okay. All right. So that that's what I'm seeing at the moment. All right. That's a good guesstimate, and we'll take it. It's better than kind of. But you you've got to have an idea on yeah. on, on where yeah. even if it's fuzzy. It's well, and, and the there. other thing I just I would add is, and this is something one of my managers way back when said, everything takes longer than it takes. Oh. So just patience. We're we're working our way through it. Uh, I did meet with um, the grant people and get my initial indoctrination into their expectations for documentation, um, checkpoints. So I have some scheduled checkpoints with them, whether anything's happened or not. They just want an email. Um, some of the things we need to document with hard copy pictures. Some of the things we just need to document with electronic pictures. Mm -hmm. um, it, so, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So who did you meet with? I met with Ann McCleave. Okay. And Katie Bates. Katie Bates is the contract specialist, and Ann McLeave is our direct contact with the State Historical Fund. She's one of their, um, I forget what they call them, she's one of their grant advisors. She's one of the ladies that came out and met with us and talked about, you know, what we could and couldn't do and how we should approach she, things. She's the and, main grant yep. contact person. Yep, um, she's the main grant contact person. Okay. And the really good news about what they did is they didn't break the projects into pieces and establish budgets for each one. They basically lumped them all together in one big bucket 
and uh, establish the budget for the whole thing, which means that <clears throat> if one project is under and another project is over, but we're still inside the dollars that we have allocated, that there's not going to be any pushing and pulling. Yeah, well, yeah, and that that they, is nice. They made it very, they made it very simple for us to administer, in the context of how difficult it could have been. Oh, absolutely, because it could have been nitpicking every rule. Yep. And yeah. jump through this. Yeah, that's, that's, that, that's they're they're very um, they're very easy to work with. They're very you know, and we have all the signed paperwork and um, the the other outstanding question, which I don't think is an issue, but I need to check on is I think the way the payments are going to work is the city's going to go ahead and appropriate the whole amount and then I'll work out with finance when we're actually going to apply to the state historical fund to get the dollars yes. from them. So, so they pay the vendor directly then or does the city pay them? The city's going to pay the vendors because okay. okay. they're, they're going to have a contract with the city. Okay. Yeah. So the city, the city will make the payments and then at some point we will request the money from the state historical fund. Oh, we don't get the money first. Um, we can get we get a pre-construction amount, which is about fifty thousand dollars, and then there are scheduled payments based on checkpoints for the rest of it. Mm, okay, I thought they came to lump sum and we just pulled from it. Nope, nope. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you you apply for it. It's like in, so the money essentially there. in quarters. Yeah. So there's still checks and balances. So but they're it, keeping it in their savings account. Yeah. That way they are nicely. Yeah. yeah. And they're all that big interest. <laughs> interest. Yeah. But yeah, in the total context of what we're doing, $250,000 for the city is a, a little itty bitty project. You know, in the context, it's big to us. Yes. But in the context of what we're doing <laughs> and the capital fund and all that stuff, um, I just need to double check and make sure that it's it, it, The city did not have any trouble appropriating the funds without having the funds in their hands. Or they would have already told me that. So I don't think it's an issue, but I do need to circle back with Sandra or Teresa and just make sure that my assumption is appropriate. Now, will we get like quarterly uh, review or accounting from the historical society saying how much money they get, how much is left in our account with them? No, nope. we have to keep track of that. Okay. Well, there. Yeah. It's me. Way to go, Kathy. I'm the branch right administrator. Something else to do. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That way, I was really thinking they gave us the lump sum. So I'm glad we were there. Yeah. Okay. Well, th thank you for that information. That's uh, that's very good to know. So moving on to the brochure updates. Unfortunately, um, <coughs> Kathy Cruz isn't able to be with us today, so I don't have a whole lot to say on the room by room self guided tour updates because I wasn't on the meet at the meeting on the twelfth. I, I have a little bit. Um, the. The two, whatever the first meeting, um, we had very good attendance. We had a lot of board members. Um, we also had two members from the state historical commission come, um, Suzanne Sibley and Rick you Jacoby. Mean the city, not the state, but the city. The city, the city, city historical preservation commission. You said state. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's I'm what sorry. It it's, and we also had um, Connie Buswell from the Longs Peak Questers okay. come. So we had most of our board plus three outside observers and com commentators. Um, and, that, and that went for about two hours. And it was actually very informative. Mm -hmm. um, Suzanne um, gave us a little lesson on fumed oak. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. And she said that um, the, the oak in this room is actually not stained. It's fumed. Mm -hmm. So they put it in a room with poisonous fumes. And I think it was ammonia. It's ammonia. It was ammonia. And the longer they leave it in the room with the ammonia, the darker the wood gets. The fumes. Oh, yeah, from the, fume, <laughs> the ammonia it's fumes. Fume. Yeah. So that's and, what it means when we say fumed oak. Oh. <laughs> and it brings out, it, it raises the grain and it brings out certain aspects of it. So yeah, we had a really, it yeah, was it's very productive. Meeting. It was really nice to have, um, the city uh, have be in partnership like we talked about with with the historic um, commission because they, they have certain expertise. Um, expertise that were just great. They're talking about all the crown molding and, and what's what. And, well, and the patterns and, and the plaster. And right. absolutely, yeah. they they had a lot of insight. It was so it was really experience. interesting. Well, and I didn't I didn't do the meeting on Thursday with Eric, but I did hear some things because of course they were walking past my office and right. it's like it's almost like a megaphone into my office from the foyer. And the the two things I heard that I thought were um, very interesting from Eric's perspective were. Um, he thought it was too long, okay. um, so that was um, a very interesting commentary, I thought. And he also thought that focusing on the people as opposed to the things 
would be of greater interest to the public. Okay. So he suggested putting in some um, more information about the Callahans, the chauffeur, you know, the as opposed to putting in more details about the trim or the plaster or the you know. So um, those are the two things I heard, and they were here. They were here quite a while too. Okay, so that's an interesting point, and I'm after just going through it and. Um, and I think this is one of those things that I don't disagree that maybe we should have a short version and a long version. Yeah. And we have it set up for the, those that are just detail detail oriented and want all the architectural features and whatnot. And then we have a um, more self-guided tour and more personal um, about the family. I, I, I'm not so sure that we don't want to have two points. And again, this is one of those things that we can look at doing digitally and by phone compared to um, necessarily having printed. I don't know, that's really up to, to the board on what their views are. But, I would make that suggestion. I, I just think there are some people that, yes, I want to learn more, but still the attention span is limited. And um, there's so much of, of being overwhelmed that, okay, maybe I don't know that much. Um, so I don't know, that's just a, a thought. And, and there's also the thought of, if you have a brochure that you're looking through and you're trying to look and read and, and do it at the same time, that's a lot to read and take in and, mm -hmm. and, and as you're walking through a building. So for your average tour person, that's right. not, yeah, that's way more information that they're okay. interested well, in. And maybe we print the short version and if people right. are really interested, we point them to the long version I on the right. website. Oh, yeah, on the QR code. Code. Yeah. Yeah. With the QR code, code that's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. That's part of the, one of the reasons why we wanted to have the QR code. So, so if, I think we need a different QR code though. If we're going to try it, I, I have a real problem with people who say, go find this information on this page, and I get to that page, and then I have to figure out which page on the 16 pages that are there right. that information's on. So, I think if people wanted more detail, we need to have a second QR code specifically that takes them directly to what the, what we're referring I think to. That's a good idea. Because like it's a menu easy. at a restaurant, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. the menu, you know, you'll yeah, it's easy. That's right. Well, well, I, I think that's part of the, the coolness of having a QR code up there is we have one for donations, and and I just like you, I if I want to click on something, I want to get there. I don't want to have to try to dig for it. Yeah. And nor do, nor with the I think my my daughter's generation. Just kidding. <laughs> but but um. They want the instant gratification right then and there, and they don't want to waste their time. Everybody the people that. coming in the door for those tours don't want to dig around. They want to just click on it, if either hand them something or open it up. You know, everybody has their phone in their hand, so. That's um, exactly right. Yeah, so, but I think they want to just click on the QR code. I say, like a menu at a restaurant where you click on it, your menu comes right up. I think that's kind of what Some people still like paper, though. There are those that like the paper. Yeah, they can and they want something they can take home with them and put it, it It's a generational home. thing. I, I think, I I think it tends to be a generation. Yeah, I agree. Um, I like to give a, be able to still be able to, to make sure that we're um, keeping a tune yeah, so we're not being great. outdated and yet we're still doing. You know, it would save a lot of money if we don't have to print hundreds of them. Hey, I personally yeah. don't want to kill that many trees. <laughs> yeah. And Just, I noticed from the times that I've worked with the open houses and stuff, most of those come back rolled up. Twisted, right? And they hand it to you, and you have to kind of straighten it out and put it back in the space. I also so they're not looking at them that closely. Right? I think we can also give the option this is if you use it kindly, remember we can recycle. And and that's I've been with places where if if I'm not that interested, I will recycle. Yeah, well, a lot of them come back. A lot of people come bring it back. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of them come back. I'm saying they, you can tell they've had it twisted up in their pocket. Sometimes they come back unusable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Unreusable. so yeah, I like the QR code because everybody, not, I shouldn't say everybody, but 99% of people have a phone in their hand anyway. So. This is true. This is very true. So, all right. Um, so we've said our, our, our minutes about that, um, I guess. 
we're still in the process of getting it in, in, in going through. Now on to the house manager's pictures. We were supposed to be meeting on um, the 23rd and that didn't happen. I didn't get it in the calendar correctly, so we didn't meet and, um, and work on the house manager's projects. I, do, I can say with the house manager's projects, one of the things that we are working on is we're working on a hanging system that would not be intrusive to the plaster work. Um, something that I've worked with in, in, in um, the galleries and whatnot that, that we can, it's not an inexpensive option, but the, the big thing about it is it would be hidden up and then we'd have a hanging system that would hang down. So if we added or exchanged photos, we can do that. The clips in place, they use it in hospitals, they use it in current galleries, they do all sorts of stuff. But it would not damage the walls and it would enable us to um, add or, or um, detract as needed. Good morning, Connie. Is that to be done at a special meeting? Or do you want to talk about it now? I think that's something that we're, we're discussing um, with the house managers' <coughs> pictures. And um, I, I guess it, it's open for discussion. Did, was it discussed if we have, uh, we talked before about a collage type thing. Is that still on the books? I think that we kind of wanted to get away from doing a collage. First of all, first of all we've got to, we've got to um, state where we got certain photos and acknowledge um, reference to like the Times Hall and other things. So one of the things that was discussed that each manager should have their own picture. When that last time I heard, we were on a collage. Wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Not very tasteful. I think it could be tasteful if we do it within um, with, with um, classic type frames, nothing overly gaudy, and um, and again, if we if we do a hanging system where we can then change or move. Can I around. ask when that was decided? Yeah. Because really, the last meeting I was at, we kind of were settled on a collage. All of a sudden, now you're to individual pictures. But this is the last three meetings that I've been at. We decided that that the collage wasn't really kind of where we wanted to go, but if that's still open for discussion, then you I brought that. Too. Yeah, I yeah. brought a collage. I don't, I don't I, remember yeah. ever saying we were going to do it. I don't remember making any decisions about that. Yeah. I mean, we suggested several different ways, yeah. and the concern was doing any damage to the wall. Right. right. But and we then, hadn't really said right. on anything. And, and that's what's been said. I was just pricing an, an option to do a hanging system. That's all I was doing. Yeah. So you're talking more about like a picture rail system, right. somewhat but kind yeah. of yeah. Like and you see in a gallery with the yeah with the rails, and they're yeah. not they're not an expensive option. But on the other hand, it wouldn't do damage by moving pictures along the wall. And, yeah, all and we're gonna do is put something at the top, top, and that's the only thing that'll actually be physically attached to the wall. That's correct. The the thing about that is though that the the frames probably have to be custom frames; they need to be heavy enough. That they'll hang straight. Yeah. Um, it depends on the system. Okay. And um, and the bottom line is, it isn't. If we get a, a, a good system in, it's not something that's going to be shifting and moving around a lot. It, it also enables us to, to move stuff. Even if we choose to put a, a collage piece on there, it's right. just about how it's hung. And right. then it was also discussed. Jumping ahead a little bit um, about the past and present uh, board members' wall acknowledgement, we discussed not doing plaques at the last mm -hmm. meeting because it got too busy. So, what if we did like we had discussed, where we did more of a paper format, framed it, and whatnot, and then that piece could be taken out of the frame and, and updated relatively easily? That again depends on how you want to hang it on that wall. A hanging system would enable us to, to do a series of different things. And it's just in the pricing option. That's the only the only thing that I know that I've been assigned to do is just to, to figure out the pricing. Figure out the pricing, figure out what we can do, what that isn't gonna break the bank, and yet we'll do what we need to do without 
putting holes in the walls. Yeah. So whether whether that the frame be in a collage system or not, that's the last I know. So. So on to the next meeting. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Until the Nothing's next meeting. Nothing's been decided though. I would say. Yeah. Nothing's in concrete. No. So can, do you want to set another meeting or do you, I, you want to do? I do want to set another meeting. Um, because we didn't get anything accomplished. Um, I, I would like to, but I know July is a very busy month. Is this something that we want to postpone in July? Yeah, because there's really no big rush about it. Yeah, no, well, I think um, we have our 45 minute meeting. We have this meeting. What if you needed a special meeting? I mean, that we couldn't, could we just do it here if, everything, if you did your homework and brought the data in? I think that's the whole thing is is if, if everybody gets everything done and then put it down. I think if we work on it in, in projects, I'm really trying to streamline these meetings so they're down to a limited time. And if we're constantly working on a separate project, it's it's going to loom up bigger. And, and then these meetings are going to be longer. Oh, that's nice easier. for more meetings. Yeah. 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 I would just assume, else. I have this on my calendar for the next two years, you know. Wednesdays. <laughs> I, I had you know, all time this morning. But yeah. I'm sorry. Um, so, and I'm also, sorry. if you're heading up that project, uh, that I, I, I'm not. whoever it ends up heading it up does their homework and comes to a regular meeting with the data right there, we don't have to have a special meeting. We can just listen, you know, to what they have to say and vote on it and make a board decision. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, th that's a thought. I I just um I'm not. I'm not taking full ownership of being in charge of the of the, the house. Um, yeah, usually it's one person who kind of ends up, even if you have a special meeting, one person's going to be pretty much running it. So why not, like, if they do their homework and bring it to our meeting, um, um, just like in the past. Yeah, that's kind of our blog. Our blog, and, our blog and even with a sign, that's how we did the sign. We kind of right. did it all here at this meeting. Okay, well, um, That's I, why we have these meetings, really. It's, yeah. Okay. Is okay. there a specific pardon me? Is there a specific reason why we want the meetings, these meetings, to be streamlined? Are you? I was told thinking? that they were going too long, and that it, it was my understanding that they were running too long, and that okay. we needed to keep them under a two-hour period, okay. and that people were being aggravated that that they were taking way choice. too long. <laughs> yes. I'm polishing off yeah. a. You know, There's a big difference between 45 minutes and two hours, though. So. Yeah. Okay. I. So, so how do you feel? So if we can keep well. it down to an hour, if 45 minutes to an hour, that's what I thought we were trying to do. Okay. And if that's a misunderstanding on my part, I need a clarification. Right. But we've been running, and we like to keep it under two, and right. we've had where it's run over even two hours, that's right. Right. and that's been and part that's of, and that is part of the yeah. problem. So. As, all the projects are getting combined, and then we try to do the projects during the meeting, and that will run us over. Well, if we know in advance what we're going to do. Now, right now, we've spent 20 minutes talking about manager's pictures, but we haven't yeah. said anything. Right. We've just wasted 20 minutes. Yeah. So, um, basically, we, you know, I, I know. I, 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 didn't want to, I didn't want to spend 20 minutes on this, on this subject. I, I, I am trying my best to do what the board is wanting to do and yet still having everybody's voice be heard so we should move this forward then and I think we should have a person who decides they want to hand to, to lead that project and then I, I think Karen is running that okay, project we'll her, and she and she's not here so, right, so I, I can't forward. speak on her behalf and and the bottom line is so at this point, I think we just move forward on yeah. the subject because nothing's. Let's just table it to the next meeting. So here's my suggestion, and here's what I'm noticing, and you can take it with a grain of salt. Uh, I think the problem isn't the special projects. I think the problem is how many special projects yeah, we're trying to do at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think if we worked on one or two things at a time and table new projects until the old projects are done, that would help them yeah. insulate right. with this issue. And we so could do the special projects that we are working on, the one or two, during the board meeting. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is that we start trying to narrow the scope of how many projects we work on at once, 
Okay. And anything that isn't in that scope that we push out until the projects we're working on are done. Because I, I don't think the problem is the projects themselves. I think it's just, you know, we're doing two brochures, house manager pictures, board plaque, you know, plus we've got our, all our regular stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I just think if we just try not to take on everything at once, just, you know, a serial approach to it, that, that will fix both problems. That, that's my Yeah, so we decide approach. which one we want to work on and we're start in the parking lot until we get there. Yeah, one or two. Yeah, yeah. Parking lot, that's a good way. I hear what you're saying, but I also think that there's certain things that we just need to get accomplished. And, and the board black one's an easy one. We've got that, we've already got that, and that can be done, be done in a matter. I, I think the problem with the board plaque is actually figuring out the dates of service is going to be um, complicated. I get that one. You know, put it in the parking lot. Yeah. Um, Karen's already got it done. done. She got it done and had it done for the grant. So we're only literally taking the list that's already in existence and utilizing it. Okay. Oh. So <coughs> I don't see that as a huge complication factor okay. because the list already exists and we're not we didn't talk about doing plaques at the last meeting. We discussed that it was what, what, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. So you know, whatever that project, is. whatever you call it. So um, again, I think everybody has to be heard, and then we vote on whether we're going to take on new projects or not. And I think that's the at, we've got what we've got on the plate currently. If we choose to table it and make a vote on on what we're going to table, that's a decision of the board. The the whole board has to make. Well, with a quorum. You don't have to have a full board. Okay, with a quorum. Yeah, okay. But so can so, so, so I, I think at this point I think we, we should move forward with what we have on the agenda currently and then we'll we'll we can come back and discuss um where we're at because all I know is that we've been ticking off pretty pretty rarely what we've got. And I also think that it's important that this is one of the things that we discussed at the beginning that should be discussed in the January meeting, what should we should projects we should take on for that year, period. Mm -hmm. But we'll decide which is more important right. at the time so we don't have to right. all of it. I think we That's should right. finish up a few. So if we just said, let's table the house manager to the next meeting, we just we decide. I don't think table the know. pictures. Yeah, there's really no more we can say. That's about it. right. I move that we table the, the, the discussion on the house pictures to the next meeting. Can I get a motion, please? She tells that she does do it. I second. 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 All in favor? Fight me. Uh, all right, moving on. It's a second, I'm sorry. I put Connie as the second. Okay. I almost have Because poor Anna. <laughs> She's already yeah. Yeah. Like it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, scrapbooks. Any, okay. any comments on what? Just pulling some stuff that I had at home, I've been out of town. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I am interested in going and looking uh, to see what standards there are for scrapbooking now, um, as far as the digital pages and, oh. and uh, liner pages and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, that if anybody, you know, bumps into anything, even in the, the city brochures and things like that, I've just been highlighting those and pulling those things out for them to clip. Okay. Well, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So if you see an article in the newspaper, right. bring it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <coughs> because look, all these eyes are better than right. one person's eyes. Exactly. Sure. Sounds good. And my husband's. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. When he's home. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. In Texas. Okay. okay. So thank you. Um, all right. Moving forward. Uh, this, the sign on the flower bed. Um, did we skip this, the retreat? Oh, I'm sorry, I did. Mm -hmm. Apologize. Um, retreat. We do need to set up a special meeting for to complete the agenda on the retreat, which I personally think would take care of some of the issues that we're talking about right now. If we can get certain things just set and decided at a retreat level, then we won't be discussing it. Um, again, I disagree. Okay. Uh, for one thing, what do you want to talk about at this retreat? And number two, why can't we do it at these meetings? That's why we're here. I, 
I th okay. Well, I think that it, the whole point was just to finish the agenda of the retreat, which we what never is, completed. What do you say? Agenda of the retreat. Define what you mean there. Literally, the, the agenda. What we ended with. Do you want to have? When do you want to do that? I would like to set it up, preferably sometime, just to finish what was on the overall agenda that we never completed. We stated at the at the retreat itself that we didn't complete everything, and that we would set up an additional. Or meeting. I think it was discussed both ways, or we would try to do it at our meeting. At the meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that very much. That we said. Because there was so little left, we basically got through the bylaws. I think there was one or two things left that didn't lead to many changes. They were pretty yeah. much mad. We took care of that at all. Yeah, time. yeah, so we. But so then there were just like, what was it, roles and. Roles. You want to. Okay, so I think that is something we also said could be done. Um, I'm not sure how, uh, how distinctly you want to define what our roles and responsibilities are because. They're not that well defined because they're ad hoc. We kind of yeah. go with the flow. Yeah. I so, think I think that's one of the things that's confusing for a new board member that comes on is confusing on what the, our roles are. When you come on to the everybody's got a set role and that's where they're at and there's no discussion on, I don't on what the things I don't know. I, I disagree. We've all been new. I disagree. I think that it would be clearer if we had a set uh, set just gone over the current roles as they're listed now and I didn't get a, in my binder I didn't get a list of, of what what our roles specifically were it was very very vague that's what and, we want is that vagueness that's so each person can oh go ahead do you have an outline of, of what it was just the agenda from it was just the <coughs> agenda Finish the agenda from just the uh, it was retreat. in it was in uh, and so it was roles and responsibilities uh, how to put things on the agenda yeah. um, there was a couple other things uh, this was future like, projects yeah um, it, it's like just the just very so bottom of that agenda for right. the retreat which should be in your books mm -hmm. right some place mm -hmm. <laughs> it just doesn't sound like it's something that yeah. we could do is one that little point in this meeting. We could take one each one of those at a meeting and answer it. Okay, if if that's how the board feels that we should should look at this, or or I thought we could just get it done in a quick meeting and, we'll and be, be done with it. <laughs> Or we could go to lunch and order a martini and that'll speed it up a little. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, there's no. We don't have a, a, a you know a, any a, an agenda or a schedule that we have to get this done by or we're in trouble. I, I, we never, no, we don't. I, we don't. But I think it would be prudent if we could get it done this year before the first of the year. So when we go into like the new year, we we're going in with this accomplished in yes. a clear understanding and and these hadn't been looked at for years and so the the point was just to review them and go over them and and have a clarification and so they're in the books and they're listed this way i mean it's not i don't know I, that that was the whole point i don't think it was like a uh the point of the retreat is to get on the same page and have the board in in an understanding and a workable thing. That's the whole point of, of a retreat in the first place. And it and it just I I would like to at least be able to finish the agenda. Now, if we want to go ahead and do that during um, our meeting, we can set that as our main focus for our July meeting. Fine, mm -hmm. I like that better. Okay. As, like I said, my calendar's got Wednesdays booked out. <laughs> okay. But and that's a good trial run. If it doesn't go well and it takes forever, mm -hmm. that tells us something. And I think the other thing is let's try to keep our comments brief. Okay, but I can't I can't guarantee what the other no. people say. No, that's not fair. Well, we could, you know, just stress Every, everybody should be able to, to state what they right. want to say. And mm -hmm. and for saying that, oh I'm sorry, you've got two minutes to talk. I, I don't agree with that statement. And part of this is that we should be able to discuss and have an open conversation. Oh, you can't, but I'm just saying we should not run on. What, what you might do is set 30 minutes. Right. Okay, this, let's see what we get done. Like Karen said, if you're really not getting anywhere, then 
maybe something like that. So you, you have that defined time. I, I, I think that's good. And, and in the retreat, we, then, did, we, we did try to give it a exactly. We had a timer yeah. that was exactly. supposed to then yeah. say, okay, we need to move on because right. this is a conversation. Is so if we set further. whatever time it is, if you set a certain time, and I, I'm sure that's exactly what you do. So if we could try to get through our normal agenda in 30 minutes and leave an hour to finish the... That would be perfect. Do you, do you want to do that? That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> If that's okay with the rest of the So we'll yes. like have to exercise a little more self. All of us, you know, and yeah. to, you know, chat last year in the old business and just kind of. All right, so uh, uh, that's what I'll put on the agenda for next month is we'll try to power through. And we can, we can probably limit the number of things we talk about next month it, just in general. Yeah, I, I think because we, we, can, we can move forward. The big thing is the other thing is we have to make sure that all board members can be in attendance. That's, it's, it's really hard, or at least really attempt to do it if we're gonna be looking at the, uh, at doing, finishing the agenda okay. for the retreat. Because well, that's, and technically we only need a quorum. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we make decisions and somebody's not present, then they just have to abide by yeah, those like that. decisions. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. okay. Moving on. Mm -hmm. Would that be listed under other business then? All right, I'll put it under our, other business. Our actually, it could just be, oh, it, it's actually old business. It is because old we're, business because, because we're finishing. Several of and it never got. So I'll, I'll put it under old business at the bottom. Okay. And I will um, probably add the agenda items from the retreat agenda. Mm -hmm. So it's detailed. And Thank you. I appreciate that. That'd be really right. good. Yeah. Know what we're focusing on. Exactly. exactly. All right. Okay. Moving on to the flower bed. Um, I know that we discussed it. It looks like it's already planted. Did May you guys I say something? Me Certainly. This is what my favorite diner in my hometown of Kenosha's motto is: "Order what you want, eat what you get." Um, <laughs> That's what happened. It's kind of what happened. It's what happened. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> and uh, there's some budget concerns. Uh, I guess they don't want to. Well, what what happened? A couple of things happened. COVID happened. We all know that, yeah, right? Yeah, right, right. So um, we ordered flowers. Uh, Parks decided that they weren't going to order any more flowers, so they kiboshed all of the flowers for the sign in general. Um, that was the first and step for just the sign for the city. Just for the just for okay. the sign. Okay. We're not spending any more money on Calhoun House flowers. Okay. No, no more new beds. So that was the first step. Okay. Um, and then the second step was um, the greenhouse, without input from anybody, did major substitutions on our orders because they didn't have what we ordered. So we ended up, like for instance, we ended up with dianthus instead of impatience. We ended up with oh, we ended up with petunias out the flipping wazoo, <laughs> and, and that is a technical term. Um, and and petuni petunias are hard. We, I mean, we love them. Don't get me wrong. And we, they did send waves, but they have to be deadheaded um, yeah, mid season. Oh, yeah. They have to be cut back. Or by the time we get to December, they look like sticks with one flower on top. Mm, yeah. So we ended up with dianthus, which also has to be deadheaded aggressively, um, or it won't rebloom because once dianthus blooms, it turns brown and dies and goes to seed. Yeah, so dianthus is a pain, um, petunias are a pain. So we ended up with mega substitutions. We also ended up with different size plants than we ordered. So in other words, we usually start with a begonia that's about that big. Our begonias are <laughs> that big. Our, our Alyssa oh. is that big. Um, we didn't get any perennials, not a single perennial. Oh, uh, so so what happened is so grow, so grow just planted what they had. Literally, I mean, and they did the best they could with what they had. Now, and I haven't had time to circle back, which is still in my list of to-dos. Mm -hmm. To circle back, uh, they did try, Elisa did try to call um, wholesale growers and find the many hostas. She didn't have any luck. Mm -hmm. So um, the next step is for me to go to Flower Bin and see what I can find mm -hmm. and um, pull out some of the annuals, put in the hostas. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to also buy some more King Coleus because instead of sending us Whatever number we ordered in individual reasonably sized plants, they sent us 
a third as many in enormous plants. So we're, we're, we've got big holes. Um, so I'm going to go buy Impatience. I'm going to go buy King Coleus. Um, probably not this week, but next week or the week after, we'll I'll go look for the mini hostas. I've already been there. And, um, but yeah. So, okay. but I'll, I but it still takes time to like go yeah. get them and purchase them. And um, and the gardener uh, disagrees with our plan to put them around the outside. She thinks they should be around the inside. Just I'm just saying. So I I've got some I've got some work to do. Yeah, I've got I've got some work to do. It it's still in process. Please don't despair. But we're gonna. But again, order what you want, eat what you get. We're doing the best we can. So and, and certainly, no no annual planting is gonna survive past the first of October. So it's not like yeah. We're, we'll get her done. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. I, uh, with all that information and, and the the definite pain in the petunia, um, petunia, <laughs> petunia, <laughs> pain in the petunia <laughs> uh, comment, That's um, what we, can call we, we can get what you're saying. So, um, but how is it that bed is a new bed when it's not? Um, it's not. It, it, well, it's it a new is. bed from the park's perspective. Yeah, uh, they haven't they haven't ever planted it before, so it went for two years with with an attempt on the part of the board and Kathy to plant perennials, and because of COVID and all that stuff, mm -hmm. we literally said we'll do it in the spring. And then we said nope, we'll do it in the fall. Right. And we said we'll do it in the spring. And then we said nope, we'll do it in the fall. Right. So so <laughs> this was the first year that we asked them to to buy flowers for that bed. Okay. Yeah. So from their perspective, it, it's a new bed. Yeah. Because just Fran, from my perspective, two years that bed's been there. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, new well and last year Grow brought leftover flowers from their resources mm -hmm. and planted it for free. Okay. So last That's year Grow said, Oh, you know, that bed should have flowers in it. We have some leftovers. How about if we just bring whatever we have and plant it? And I said, perfect. Okay. And I said, and she said they're free. And then I got a bill from Grow, and they and I said, oh, excuse me, Amanda. How do you? Do you know, Anna told me these were leftovers, and she just wanted to plant it, and they were free, so they just scratched the bill. Yeah. So okay. honestly, it's it's just work in progress. <laughs> okay. 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 And I saw sign. five minutes was going to get through. It's a beautiful sign. Yeah. Beautiful okay. sign. Okay. We went for 75 plus yeah. years yeah. with no sign, and now right. we have a beautiful yeah. sign. Right. Yeah. So we made so, lots of progress. Yeah. It's kind of bright side. All right. Yeah, the cup the is half full. <laughs> Does more than five minutes? I do. I do. I have it either. I I finally cut my roses back. Yeah. Go for it. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I'll show up. Knew the can of worms I was opening up. Sorry. I thought five minutes would be we could end and the can would tell us what was accomplished. That's how it works in my kitchen too. I got a teacher this yes. <laughs> All right. Oh so moving on to the the open yes. houses. And I only put the open houses that, that are really coming up that we gotta be looking at right. on, on the agenda for right. July. Mm -hmm. And is everybody planning on being at the July open house? I I don't think we need a full staff. You don't? What's the date nope. that one? It's the 27th from 5.30 to 7.30. I did put it on everybody's calendars yes. last week. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I don't expect the volume to be that high. I think mm -hmm. three people would be plenty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. And I'm going to be here, so I'm, I guess I'm one. Mm -hmm. no, Is this here. an objection? I, I, I like other to be here. For, for, and, and, and here's the deal. Could this be one of those things that if we all show up and it's we one twenty some of us can go home then at that a certain point? Yeah, we can just mosey around and talk to people. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy so, yeah. Does that work? So everyone? Yeah. Everyone who can. Everyone who can. Is this yeah. just like only us? Yep. That yeah. we're having an right. open house. I it's gonna be advertised on Facebook, it's gonna be advertised in constant contact, it'll be on the website. It's not yet, but it will be. And it starts at because it starts 5 at five thirty. There's no prep work. You can walk in the door at five thirty. Mm -hmm. okay. um, 
And and I guess if nobody shows up, we'll have a hand session. Right. <laughs> right. Have a visit. Unless they tell all your friends we have to call it We can't talk about any business though. Very, very <laughs> busy that night. All right. So very busy that night. Yeah. Okay. All right. On to Yeah. <coughs> Okay. Um, I started to, you know, review some of my notes from other artists. I did look at the website and when you gave me. I was going to ask you. I noticed she lives in Chicago. Is she planning on coming out? She actually lives here. In oh, okay. That confused me. What? She, she. That was a. That's. She's a teacher. She works for Baldwin Valley School. Okay. So I thought I don't want to ask me to fly out. No, 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 no. Okay. She is. Yeah. She actually lives in Limelight. They're 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 new and she wants to be involved okay. with the community. No problem. And I said I wanted to wait and ask you that. Yeah, um, and I apologize because yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, it's not a problem. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah, um, she lives so, in town. Okay, <laughs> okay, perfect. Yeah, so I'll give her a call again. I like to keep it to four. I mean, over the years we've had different numbers of artists here, but it's too crowded. With four is perfect. You get one each room down here. You're not not upstairs. Right, four is perfect. Um, perfect number. Okay. So. Uh, I'm open to suggestions, but I do have quite a few cards, so I have people I can call, but anybody who has a friend or somebody you want to recommend, just let me know. Okay, and are you looking for specific mediums for, for the four? You I like to try it as well, I like. Okay. So get one, this one looks like a watercolor maybe. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so mm -hmm. maybe photography. Um, we have our, I don't know if I'll ask, ask the wood carver again. Uh, he's, I, we've had him here twice. I tried to also not have him here. Right. Well, and it's a lot of work to get his stuff in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, yeah, but um, so please, so if you know somebody, do give me a holler. So, what happened to the paper dresses? Oh, I have. She wants to come. Oh, I have a paper dress lined up. We do. So gorgeous. That's fabulous. Um, um, we do have a paper dress lined up. I'm so excited. I show you the picture. Yes, that seems so long ago. ago. We were working on. We were going to go well, to the show. We were all set, and they got canceled. All the tickets, yeah. everything was going to go. Yeah. Yeah. And this is my other yeah. problem. And I will talk to Ted Brunson about playing in the garden. Okay, so I'll take care of that. I haven't yeah. done it yet. So oh, good. that's the other thing. If somebody did have outside art, that, that could be the fifth. Outside art. If they had something we could set up outside. Oh, oh. yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Do we still have the card for that person that came with all the metal stuff? I should say. I, I think I do. Remember that. I should check with the garden. Uh, was it my garden art? Garden it was art. Like yeah. metal art. Yeah. Right. The, right. The, yeah. the, the big thing is, so... Do you get in contact with the artists now, and so they have time to? Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I think it's like after Memorial Weekend, and then I'll be. They have then they'll have plenty of time. I will find this picture eventually. You can keep talking around me. <laughs> okay. Right, so I'll talk to Doug Brenson. She's looking for that. I'm working on artists. Um, that is all hands on deck for okay. that. I will be. In and what time do we need to be here? That's fine. Okay, what time? This um, I think. If, Oh, oh, my gosh. Gosh. oh, that's so oh, cool. This is her paper dress. I can pass this around if you guys can't see that's it. That's right. But um, oh, it's beautiful. Wow, it's and I talked to her already. She is interested in coming. Wonderful. I'll call her. Hopefully, nothing has changed. But we could put her in the lobby or. We could find a I think we should put it in the bride's room. Right. So yes. across the door. Uh, so yeah. I, it. Yeah. I think that's, that's a great idea. idea. Is the bride's room would be a great place yeah. yeah. for it. So where people can't go. Yep. Yeah. 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 Yes. Well, and that also keeps people off the balcony. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Two bright, oh, two two no. yeah. Well, and you exactly. you think people recognize that they're not supposed to touch things and. I don't get it in the in the public museums level. <laughs> right, yeah. you know, with the bells going off. So yeah. all right, so what time do we have our I quarter to four would be fine. And we're not gonna open the doors till four o'clock. So just like last time. Yep, just like last time. Well, and we'll do we'll like, do the setup. She and I will figure out when the setup is, but not yet. And the de the debate on that is: Do we do it at noon or do we do it right before? And I, I think, think before, right before. Yeah, because otherwise, it's just, you know, you got to come at noon and leave and then come back. Right. Yeah. And I like it right do. before. The artists yeah. like that because especially right. ones that come in. What is hours of the whole thing? Um, the fart walk is four to eight, mm -hmm. and the setup will probably be two thirty to three thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay. It does that. I'll go look at the times we did. I think before. we did. Stood, we did two thirty. Yeah. Three to four? Three, yeah, right. I, I think, think it was three to four. I think it was four. Yeah, three to four. All right. That way they were right here when it opened. I'll put it on the calendar. Thank um, you. Artwork's already on the calendar. I'll put this, but we don't need everybody for the setup. In fact, I would prefer you didn't come for the setup. Right. So I may, I think probably 2.45 to 3.45 so that 
where, where I first right. set a little earlier. Right. Okay. All right. And we should come at 83.45. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were a little bit early, so we're here before the crowd. All right. Okay, well, thank you, Anne, and we'll keep them in touch on which artist you choose, and I'm excited to hear. Okay, um, okay, we kind of jumped ahead on the yeah, gay business yeah. on this. Sorry with the discussion. Um, we had discussed at the last meeting and their new business about the, the board members' wall acknowledgement. At the last meeting, we <coughs> talked about having plaques or not having plaques. It was discussed. Um, and I am in agreement with Connie um, that I think plaques are too cumbersome, they take up too much space, they're expensive. They're too hard to update. And they're really hard to update. update. Yeah. I think that if we do a paper version, it still accomplishes the same thing that who's worked on it, <laughs> and we can update it very quickly. Really because easy. we already have an existing <coughs> list. It's literally just putting it in an ice frame, so it's nice paper, nice, nice paper, paper, and whatnot. And whatnot. Yeah. yeah. So it looks and it acknowledges the work and commitment put in by. And this is saved as a file, so yep. that you can add new names right. to it. Just print right. it and right. frame it. Right. That's okay. Exactly. That works. Well, and I think we just um, don't put dates on the current board members until we know how long they're here. That's that's yeah. right. That makes sense. Time. <laughs> put a starting date or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. start just a start date, and then we just go with what we've got in the past, and then as we as the board members. But I I agree with Connie. I think the plaques are too cumbersome. They're too expensive. And um, actually, I missed that discussion, but uh, yeah, that was you, 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 were, you were here, so 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 that was. Yeah, I agree with it. I agree. With you. I I just think it's a it's a better idea in general, and and thank you. We can keep it as a file. It's so easy to update. Yeah, yeah and I would like to be the person who keeps the file, right, right. so that when yeah. we lose board members, we don't yes. we don't lose, we lose continuity. Right. continuity. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to ever be the person to have to try and recreate it. Yeah. No. Right. Oh gosh, no. Um, I don't believe in recreating a wheel if you don't have to. Yeah. It's I always leave my files. Yeah. You can do beautiful things with Word and there's yeah. other programs. Oh, yeah. 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 Sure. As long as we just put it in the same. Well, we. If, if, I'm not going to look. There's a, we're around that long that we have a huge frame with us, but 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 you know. We can keep it in frame and format. It's a smaller font. 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 It's a highlighting houses and stuff that kind of look like ours mm -hmm. um, and I it was brought to my attention that in Kalispell, Montana there's a house called the Conrad House mm -hmm. and it is owned by the city of Kalispell mm -hmm. so um, it, I just wanted to highlight that so if anybody was interested they could go take a look at it yeah, yeah. Um, and field it was trip. was <laughs> a field trip a field yeah. trip yeah. it was, um, it was given to the at Kalispell, Montana by the Conrad family um, Did you sell it's, that L K A L I S P E L L. It's up on Flathead Lake in Montana. Yeah, which is a beautiful, beautiful place to go. Oh, again, we're yeah, glacier. You're looking for, yeah. looking for yeah. 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 cherries. Oh, yeah. 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 cherries, yeah. right? Yeah. Oranges. So um, I just thought I'd mention that. And the other thing is, I did receive a really lovely thank you note from I think Candy, but I'll walk up and get it real quick. Yeah. Uh, uh, from the about the board tea. So I'll be right back. Oh, good. Uh, this gives a lot of that to her. So um, we're almost going to the Montana filming now. We could kind of do a film. Yeah, we could just kind of drop <laughs> by. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And we could get some autographs. Well, yeah, we could. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we could rhyme. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> okay, guys. All righty. Maybe give you the city representative. <laughs> <laughs> keep the board in line. Right? <laughs> <laughs> keep the board in line. Yeah. Maybe you have two state representatives for that. <laughs> well, one to drive, one yeah. to pay attention. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or fly. <laughs> 
can fly right into those room deals. So. Yeah. All right. This is from Candy. It came after our last board meeting. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it's Columbine. Oh, it's beautiful. And it says, uh, greetings to my dear Callahan House friends. Thank you for the fabulous tea last Sunday. The food was delicious. But more importantly, it was great to spend time with all of you and to see many old friends from the past that I had served on previous boards with. <clears throat> I'm out of breath. It was great to catch up. I miss you all and want to know if you need something, I am available to help. Take care and thank you again, Candy. Nice. Thanks. Very nice. That's so sweet. Let me scratch it. I think I read it. Oh, that's okay. Oh, okay. That's okay. She read it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Thank you, Kathy. That's, that's really nice. Really nice. We'll add that. All right, so if we have no other business, on to the house restoration and preservation project. Okay, I think we just keep that this as a future agenda item. We can discuss this in the rest. Um, yeah, from walking around um, and doing the, the <coughs> walkthrough, which I think was a good thing for the room by room tour guide and that we walk through everything, it's good to have an eyes on type of thing. And I think maybe we just schedule that as a yearly thing that we just do a, a, a walk through and look at at as a board so we are really seeing stuff. And it, it's interesting um, because one person might see something and the other person doesn't and pointing that out and like, oh, I didn't notice that. So maybe we look at it in the sense of doing a walk through once a year. And we could keep a list schedule, schedule yeah. and then keep a list that way. I think so I think that's already. that's a more proactive way to handle things. Yeah, because I, I would like to see a list of everything. You know, Ooh, yeah, sure, that's on it. Just, that. Now that doesn't mean you have to start doing it right now. But no, no, I don't think that's it's realistic. Been a, Call right. to the attention of people. And I won't put everything in my mental list on a list. <laughs> oh, we're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's no, that would be no. helpful. So if, honestly, yes. because we can't be in your brain and, and get picked up. <laughs> you, can't. Can't. You, you don't want to be in our <laughs> brain. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't be in there and say which file cabinet's in. It is in. Right. 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 So, so, so I think that would be helpful, and I think the reality of it and the whole purpose of that. It's not to say that we're going to do it right away, but right. that we're aware of it, exactly. and then we can, we can our right project on. to get funding for it. Yes. That's, that's, plus, we that's, won't waste time talking about something that's already on the list. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Yep. Makes sense. Yeah. Good. Okay. And then, um, Kathy, you put this on the agenda of the 2023 open houses for January. Um, the, the thought process uh, I had in my notes that we wanted to discuss at the first meeting of the year, the open houses for the year. So that's, we, we don't really, the intention of these is not really to discuss them in the meeting, but just to not lose sight of the fact that at some future point, if, and if we know it, we'll put it on there, that we want to discuss these things. I, I think that's, I think that comes in with the retreat. One of the things that we talked about is we wanted to have a set type of game plan at, in January that the board decides that this is what we're doing and then we can move forward. Well, and the, just just so you understand, the the intention for the open houses was never to let them interfere with a potential revenue generating event mm -hmm. um, because we rely on that revenue to just keep the house running altogether. So Art Walk, um, although we've, we've kind of violated that with Art Walk in the December open house, the intention for the rest of the open houses was for them to be somewhat fluid and move if we actually got an opportunity to do revenue on a given day. So I, I agree, but I think it's a balance. I don't absolutely. think I don't think that the house's pure intention was ever meant to be just to generate revenue. I, I understand that we have to generate revenue. The realism is we have to generate revenue in order for us to exist, but it's gotta be a balance that we're still open to the public, that we're doing what we what was in the the Mm -hmm. intent of the house and to keep it balanced that's why I think we discuss at the beginning of the year we we set a game plan and we go with it and it, and it can't be trumped my, it's it's a it's a balance my only point is if we set a if we just pull a date out of the date. schedule and say we're going to do a July open house on this date mm -hmm. if there's an opportunity for revenue event we need to be fluid enough to move it to a different date in July. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I don't think anybody, 
I don't think anybody is is uh, uh, going to be. I would hope no one's not able to to see past certain things. But I right. think, I think it's balanced. I agree. And I agree. So, I think like we need what, to decide on a number of open houses and a general time for them. Mm -hmm. I I just don't think in January that we have the oversight to to pick a date and stick with it. Well, it has to be when, when people call and they want an event on this date, it's yeah. not always flexible. Yeah, they so yeah, we, they so we, we lose the event if we aren't flexible enough to move our open house to a different date. Right. Plus, an open house, just an open house without Art Walk, without Christmas, right. it doesn't take a lot of planning. No, right. we just I, have to be. I, I, right. I, I agree. But I also think we're losing opportunities to, to run in certain things on having certain events with with within the... Um, the Longmont downtown development in conjunction, and in yeah. conjunction. So I think it's 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 going to be a, a measure of okay, and I think we can set things on the calendar in in July in January and and work with those dates and try to have those things set up. I'm not talking about having an event every weekend. We are talking about just looking over at the overall calendar and picking certain dates and putting things on there. And then having them kind of set like what we did with the Santa Open House. I think that's a good idea. And I think those are the type of things that we still have to meet the overall purpose of a house. It's a balance. It, it isn't, this house was not given just as a. Well, lane. bear in mind that the grounds are always open, daylight. True. Hours. So, I, you know, it's just a matter of letting people wander through the house. They right. Really not. But I mean, people can come to these grounds as long as they're not pre-reserved for a wedding or something. Mm -hmm. There, it's a park. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a park. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a light park. It's, it's a light park. It's a public it's space. space. It's it's a space. space. It's it is not a park. I I I I understand, but yeah. I'm going to oh. respectfully disagree on certain aspects that I still think we have to keep the overall intention or intent of what the gift was for. And it wasn't given to the city just to be a wedding venue. It is a balance act. I know we have to have the, the revenue for the weddings. I think it's great and other events, but it is a balancing act. And I think if we get certain things on the calendar, um, then they're in place and we can work with them. And yes, I believe with the flexibility that we absolutely have to change something, fine. But it does it. If they're not on the calendar, they don't have them. And yeah. I don't I don't think it's too much to look at the overall year calendar and set stuff in advance. I, I agree. I just think we need to be flexible enough to move yeah. them That's if right. we get a revenue opportunity. Yeah, just move it it's not gonna matter if it's Wednesday the this or Wednesday the that. Right. And <laughs> and the downtown events are mostly Fridays and Saturdays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And those are dates that are key dates for revenue events. Yes. And the intention, the deeded intention of the house is to keep it open for the clubs. We can't do that if we don't have revenue. I agree. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Again, I'm not saying that we don't do revenue events. That isn't what I'm saying at all. That is nowhere on, on the table. We'll be mm -hmm. flexible. It's, 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 it's just, just yeah, I think that's my point. It's, it's yeah. being able yeah. to, to put it on the calendar and a look and plan. And then if we only choose to do one during the summer and we pick a certain date and if that falls on a Friday and we stick to it and that's the only Friday of the whole summer that we do anything I don't think that's a bad thought yeah. no, we can discuss it in uh, January yeah. 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 well and the other thing I would say is not everybody else's calendars are set in January right so we I think we can put a stake in the ground but I don't think we're gonna have a viewpoint of everything that's going on downtown mm -hmm. in January yeah. And it needs to be flexible. Like I said, people, we advertise on Facebook, people see it, and they, they don't plan six months ahead, oh, I'm going to an open house. No, they don't. It's like, a, a, oh, wow, oh, there's an open house, let's go. Oh, right. Right. It's, 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 it's a night, night. let's go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's kind of how it is. So they don't need to. I, I understand that, but I also know. We're going to make a plan. I, I know that plan. big events, like with, like with the city, when they plan events like Rhythm on the River, they don't just not plan that. That's a big event. Yeah. So, yeah. So if we're going to be able to do stuff like that, or if we choose to do something like that, we need to be able to plan. If we get a big event, yeah. Yeah, well. Well, big events are going to get planned way in advance, yeah. and they're going to stay off Friday. of Fridays and Saturdays. They're going to probably be a Correct. Sunday. You know, like our ice cream social, when we do that, it's right. always a Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Well, but we haven't done that. And I mean, do we want to stick with ice cream social? I mean, that's that's one of those things. Is, I agree. Is that, is that some... I just use that as an example. Okay. But, but that's yeah. all to be discussed in January. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. So we can stop discussing it. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Moving along. Yes. Adjourn. Yeah. Okay. That's where I'm going. <laughs> okay. So we are, we've gone through it all, guys. And um, all right. So can I get a motion for adjournment, please? I have like one quick thought. Well, so the July meeting, let's plan it so that we do a quick through the agenda and work on the bullet points that we from the from the from the retreat. Yeah. yeah. We'll That's just make that a goal. Anybody talks too long, we. Cut them off. Time. <laughs> time. 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 We'll have it time just like what we yeah. did with the okay. retreat. And now, and do a um, okay, so can I have a motion, please? I move we adjourn the meeting. Can I get a second? I second it. Janet, you'd be kind to it. So, all right. Oh, That's fine. <laughs> no, go. No. All in favor? Yay. Yeah. Hey. All right. You got your turn. Anybody object? <laughs> oh. And, and oh, we are nice. having the meeting here then in July. As far as I know. I apologize for not being here at 30. I just saw that, and I don't know why, because I read through the notes last night. It's all right. It's, it should be on your calendar entry, too. Well, the three of us went to New York.